Ladies and gentlemen, again, we welcome you to the Deadwood Mountain Grand here in Deadwood, South Dakota. For an evening of world-class professional boxing, all brought to you by Lou DeBella's DeBella Entertainment and Showtime. Sponsored by the Deadwood Mountain Grand, a Holiday Inn Resort in historic Deadwood, South Dakota. Gallardi Insurance, you perform, we protect. South Dakota tourism, great faces, great places. And regional health, helping patients and communities live well. This bout is sanctioned by the South Dakota Athletic Commission. Commissioner Mike Kilmer, executive director is Jennifer Staley. World Boxing Council President Mauricio Suleiman, supervisor Michael George. Your three judges scoring this contest are Ray Danseco, Juan Carlos Pelayo, and Jack Woodburn. And the referee in charge when the bell sounds is Ian John Lewis. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Deadwood, South Dakota, it's time for our Showtime Boxing Special Edition main event of the evening. 12 rounds for the interim WBC Super Lightweight Championship. Introducing first fighting to my right out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the black with the blue trim. Official weight, 139 and one half pounds. His record stands at 22 wins. A dozen of those coming by way of knockout against one blemish. Fighting out of Winhook, Namibia by way of Omaha, Nebraska. He is the former IBF and WBA 140 pound world champion, currently ranked number eight by the World Boxing Council. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Julius Blue Machine and Don Go. And his adversary fighting to my left out of the red corner. He comes in wearing the black with the gold trim. Official weight, 140 pounds. His record, an excellent one. 20 wins, 17 of those coming by way of knockout against no losses. Fighting out of New Orleans, Louisiana by way of Houston, Texas. Ranked number two by the WBC. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated Regis Rougarou Pro Gray. Here to give instructions, Ian John Lewis. Can we, ask, can we um, exchange flags? Boxers. Oh, I'm the referee. I spoke to you both in the dressing room. I obey my command at all times. You both know the rules. Watch the heads, kick them punches up. When I shout break, you break clean. And remember, to defend yourselves at all times. Shake hands. And you saw them standing in the middle of the ring with Ian John Lewis, and the height difference is pretty striking. Not to mention that Ndongo is a straight up fighter, which makes him look even taller. Oh, left hand slipped in by Ndongo. A little wildness in Ndongo. He's got that perky, jerky style, and he gets on his bounce. But that's what he has to do. He can't afford to stand in front of a pearl gray. A couple of jabs and some early success here for Ndongo. Well, we've watched him now for 40 seconds, and if you've never seen him before, you can see why he'd be difficult to fight. Awkward, quick, extremely long. Rarely, rarely ever in front of him. Yeah. Poker really taking his time. I see a lot of composure on, on that. We just... A lot of focus. Yeah, not doing much early in this fight, but you can see just trying to get a read on yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's slipping some of the, a lot of them shots, and he's getting closer. He's trying to close that range. I think he's following a, a little bit too much forward. Well, there was a good shot, yeah. and I think that got Indongo's attention. It was a jab, wasn't it? It looked like it, and I'll tell you what, his legs went for a minute. Yeah, it was a counter punch. See that many fights with two lefties boxing, boxing. facing each other. Boxer. Yeah. 
That's the fight that Ndongo has to fight. And he oh. got there with about six in a row. Yeah, got him there with a, a, a one two. As Kroger is coming straight in. Sometimes he squares up. He's got to give him more of the shoulder instead of squaring up too much. He leans over and he got caught with a one two. So far, very good round for Ndongo. And that's really important, being that his last time in the ring, he was knocked out by Terrence Crawford. Right. He goes at one two again by Ndongo. And there's another shot that drives Ndongo into the ropes. So Progre not doing much in this round, but when he does anything, he's gotten Ndongo's attention. And both times it's been with a jab. Yeah. It's a solid jab, but Ndongo's a little bit off balance too because of his style. Now, Progre kind of stopping. Overhand Ndongo. left, yeah. Ndongo kind of backing up here. A little big body oh, shot by Progre, left hand. I saw that, yes. Remember it was a body Same shot. Same body shot the Crawford, yep. Yeah. There's an uppercut uh -oh. down, goes in Dongo with the, the jab. Bell. With the jab with the as jab. well. But boy, does that change that round. He's still Four. wobbly. Five, six, seven. It changes Eight. everything. Okay. He's still on wobbly legs. Is it the bell? Hold up. And they're taking a lot of time getting that stool in there, too. I made it a 10-9 round. I'm sure the judges will see a 10-8. And immediately, Progre drives Ndongo into the ropes. This is not bound to last too long if it keeps up the way it is right now. I'll tell you what, that jab has been incredible for Progre. I mean, he usually is the type of guy that connects everybody. I call it a buffet of left hands. We saw a buffet of jabs in the yep. first round that did a lot of damage. He just looks very strong. Yeah, he does. There's a combination from Ndongo again, but Progre just keeps coming, and Progre showing very good patience. Hey, he's blocking him down, making a miss, slipping. Can't just walk in forward. See, that, that's the thing right there. He got caught with a one-two. Every time Progre throws a punch, Ndongo goes backwards. Ndongo, though, when he punches at the proper range, he's landing. Yes. He's effective. And it's almost as if Progre, early in this fight, understands he's going to have to take some shots to get close enough to land his own. And Progre is that kind of guy. He, he loves to fight, so he'll he'll take some shots to get in there. There goes that jab again, solid jab by Progre. You know, Raul, you mentioned something last round that's so true. Because he's, he's herky-jerky, it's hard to tell when Ndongo's hurt and when he's not hurt, because he always looks off balance. Right, his, his legs, look at his legs. He's, he's, he's in, a, on a, in a bounce, and you don't know where he's punching from. He moves right, left, it's just very awkward. His corner doesn't want him to exchange with Progre. There was a left hand from Progre. Progre following the game plan he set out for himself, which is when you get close, work the body. Yeah, he's working that small frame. A little uppercut from Ndongo in there. Ndongo has a small body frame compared to Progre, so he's really working that body. Good body shot there by Ndongo. Yeah. Come back again. No, it's like Steve said. I mean, Donko's getting there with more punches than Progre. But the few punches Progre has gotten there with have hurt Ndongo. And not a good sign for Ndongo that this early in the fight, he's fighting an infight. Yeah, he's already uh, Down he goes again from the left hand. And that was a no kidding left hand. Down he goes again wow. from the left hand. <laughs> Look how confident Brooke he is. Well, every punch he throws, he is, and he's in wobbly legs here. Eight. Okay, watch me. She's the last chance. Now well, they're going to let him go. Last you chance. Him say last chance. His legs are not good. And down he goes again. And wow. That's it. it Another is one shot. That's how it took. Three and left, left hands. Yeah. He had a buffet of jabs in the first round, and then a buffet of left hands in the second round. Yeah. And they yeah. both were damaging. Power. Well, I think after that performance, it's safe to say that Nobody. reshaping of the 140-pound division goes through a Regis program. Uh, I got to think. I got to think. I mean, that was, I mean, this guy was a champion. This wasn't just a guy. Yeah, he's got some swag.
Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes two minutes, 54 seconds of the second round. Referee in charge, Ian John Lewis, brings an end to the contest for your winner by technical knockout, still undefeated. And now, the interim WBC Super Lightweight Champion, Regis Rugaroo Pro Grade.